So you can uh, you can hear me all right, everyone? Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, as uh, Lisa said, my name is Charlie Patterson, and and uh, thank you so much for that very kind introduction. And uh, I'm really honored and and grateful to be invited here. Um, Ronnie Park and and his entire team, including Lisa and Paul, and, and many of you have been so welcoming and and huge contributors to, I mean, really the way that we build a business around the world um, and just proven systems and methods that we have the ability to create a leveraged asset here with NewScan and that I have greatly benefited for uh, the last 16 plus years, as Lisa said. And uh, so what we'll take about the next 30 minutes, and I'd love to share elements of my story and, a, and an overview of the company that, that I saw back in January of 2004 that um, even though I said I wasn't interested, uh, it was everything that I was looking for. And uh, my wife and I have been married for 10 years uh, as of uh, this month. And uh, Lisa said we have, we have five children. Uh, we have a daughter who is five, and her name's Charlie Rose, and she's in that very bright orange suit. And then we have four two-year-olds who, uh, who actually were born on their older sister's birthday. So all five of our kids... Uh, share the same exact birthday, and that's my uh, incredible wife, Christy Hemi, who uh, who just has been the greatest blessing to me in, in my life, and, and honestly happened as a result of, of this business and and what I uh, I learned along the journey and, and really in development of our business and leadership um, and developing this asset. So uh, my you know my story begins back in in seeing uh, really in, in a point in my life that. Uh, I was in my tenure as a professional athlete and, you know, I wasn't, uh, you know, the sport of wakeboarding is an action sport. I was one of the pioneers of that sport uh, for 10 years of my life. And, you know, it's not like, it's not like professional football or basketball or baseball. We don't have the, you know, the, the huge 20, $30 million contracts, but if you're, you're a top athlete, you know, you can make millions. And I, uh, I was, was fortunate to, to work very hard uh, for 10 years and become one of the top paid in my sport uh, and around the world. And I loved what I did. And I never imagined that I would ever not. And then one day I woke up, I, I you know, put my feet on the ground, looked out at the, the water uh, where I was, I was living on in my home and I never wanted to do it again. And that was, that was really the scariest day of my life to that point because my income was uh, what I didn't know at that time. Now I understand is linear, meaning that if I didn't keep doing it, my income would stop. And I, I came to that realization and was like, wow, I've got, a, I've got a couple years, two to three years left of contracts. And they're already talking about asking me if I will take less money uh, for the same work which I didn't, I didn't like, and that was something new, uh, being 30 years old and going, man, in a couple of years, I, I'm, I'm going to be done, and they're going to stop paying me, and I've given blood, sweat, and tears to this sport. I wasn't a victim. I, I chose to do it on an incredible lifestyle, and I, want, I didn't want to like look in the past and you know, celebrate the glory years. I wanted a bigger, better future ahead of me. I wanted to go on and do, do more. And I felt like I just, you know, kind of like just gotten started, primed the pump. And so I, uh, I had great people in my life that uh, had me read a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which I learned about leveraged income uh, versus what I had as a, as a small business or as an employee being linear income. And I, I was willing to work hard and invest time and energy into something, yet I, it, it was important to me that it would reward me long past my life, not just when I was working. And, and, you know, God forbid something happened that I wouldn't be able to work, that I would still have income coming in. And, and so, you know, I, I definitely was taught that the quality of my life was defined by the quality of what I looked for and the quality of the questions I asked. And so I started looking and uh, I had a friend, actually one of my sponsors in wakeboarding, asked me to go and look at this company that he had just actually got involved with a couple weeks earlier. And I, and I just said, you know, tell me about it. He said, you know, it's this company called New Skin. And I'm like, skin, New Skin? You mean it's like, is that like that Band-Aid thing? And then, no, it's not that. No, it's skincare. And I was like, skincare? 
Like, seriously, dude, do you, do you know me? Like, I mean, this is make, like, you got me confused with somebody else. This was a very close friend and said, no, I, I actually think you'll really be into it. And I said, I'm not interested. And he, thankfully he knew that I didn't know what I wasn't, that, that, what I wasn't interested, what I said I wasn't interested. I had no, I, I had completely no idea. And he, so he just asked me, so will you, you come in and support me as your friend, make me look good and be here for an hour, no strings attached, you know, no obligations. And I sat in that presentation, very much one like I'm, I'll give here today, just now 16 plus years later, uh, the same, same five points that I'll, that I'll talk about here and learned about market trends, all right, which really important. I knew that I had to find something that I could position, not only that it was big today, a big, like 20, 30, 40 years down the road, right? Um, products and technology, really important to me that it was patented, it was exclusive to who I was working with because I had patented products. I had, I had my name on endorsed products that I designed and I didn't want, I didn't want to compete on, on the same features. I wanted things from proprietary, unique to me. And I knew it through my sport and being, you know, I had 26 sponsors and some of those products were very emotional. I had emotional connection to them. And there were relationships associated with them that we used to call guerrilla marketing back in the day and, and really pressing the flesh and having an experience of the product that then created sales. And so I knew I needed to find something with that emotional connection and a story that people could tell over and over and over. So I looked for that and, and, and a company that I could partner with because I had – I had some bad sponsors. Out of the 26 sponsors I had, some of them didn't do what they said they were going to do. Like, pay me what they said they were going to pay me. I, in a, a, a formula of under-promising and over-delivering, yeah, they, they, they operated the opposite. They would over-promise and under-deliver. So the partner that I picked and the company that I was looking for was really important because it, to me, it was not just the rest of my life. I was looking for something for generations of my family. Uh, compensation, absolutely important. I don't believe that money is the most important thing in the world. Yet it rates right up there with oxygen. I mean, and especially people right now in, in what's been going on, which is a science fiction movie that we've been living for the last three months. I mean, people aren't going to work. They don't have income. It's very scary. Domestic violence is through the roof because people are stressed out. I mean, they're looking, you know, after three months, they're looking over there. Oh my gosh, who's that lady? Oh, it's my wife. Right, then I used to be at home, there's crazy stuff happening, right? And so compensation is really important that you're gonna get a return. But key word, leveraged income. And not just like throw it in the, in the, in the air. I, I, you know, I say, hey, we hope we're gonna do this. No, I wanna see proven results. And, and so that's what, that's what I saw. I saw the guy in front of me is like, I did this and I made this and here's where I am and here's where I'm going. And I was like, I wanna go there. And I look at the guy, and I'm like, man, if that guy can do this, I can do this. I will figure it out because I want that the, the top incomes from a show that, that I've been at for the last 16 years. Well, I mean, that's the type of money I made. And I was like, this is the solution, right? Sitting in that, in that presentation, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is everything that I was looking for. And the timing, it was my time. I've been looking for about six months. I don't know – if it's your time, I mean, no, no one, none of us do. I don't believe anyone ever. If you were invited here by a friend, a family member, maybe you're involved with this already, and you're still, you know, wondering, is it your time? And you're the only one that's in control of that time. I know what's going on with the company. We are in the craziest growth window I've ever experienced. I mean, it is nuts. Every single month, it's like, oh my gosh, we're up like the people up. 400%. They're up 200%, 100%. People are up 50% month over month. I mean, it is nuts what's going on. And, uh, and it's very exciting. And we say, don't waste a good recession. All right? Let's say it again. Don't waste a good recession. There are moments in time where you can compress activity and create exponential results. And that's what's happening right now because more people's minds are open and looking because they realize their plan is not working. Their plan is not gonna get them what they want. 
And so, I mean, that's what happened for me. I've never even heard of it. Our company is in a direct sales association. I've never even heard of that. No, no idea. And I was laser focused on what I was doing with my life as an athlete. Yet all of a sudden, when things changed and the pain of staying the same in my sport, which I didn't want to do anymore, when that pain of staying the same was greater than the pain of the unknown or change, then I was ready to move. And so when I saw this, I was ready and uh, took action. So I, I hope that we meet you in that space here today, all right? And that we can help you literally put money in your pocket going to work um, like today, all right? And so let's, let's jump into this and I'll, and I'll kind of hit some more key, key points on, uh, on market trends. You know, you, you got to find something where there's a demand, right? And first and foremost, social media, everyone's on it. More people are on it right now than ever before. The numbers are going up and the amount of hours of screen time increasing. Social media, I don't need to tell you that it's happening yet. I know if you're not making money with social media yet, you know that people are. And we paid almost a billion dollars last year to people that made money on social media. That's crazy, right? And you, you know, right from your phone, Right here, people are making money on social media. And that is happening. I know you know about it. And you, I, if you're on here, you've most likely been asking, how can I do that? And we know how, all right? Anti-aging and health. We want to look better, right? And we want to feel better as we get older. Um, you know, I found most people are even more influenced by not looking older or uglier, right? And that, that's the truth. Right, we want to age gracefully, live well, and that anti-aging health wellness is a, is just constant growth. It's actually younger and younger and younger. Teenagers, man, I mean, they're Korea. You don't have to tell you this. I get on a flight to to Korea and Korean Airlines, and uh, I mean, it, beautiful people, right? Absolutely beautiful people, and plastic surgery, younger and younger and younger because people care. Technology and communication. I mean, we're on Zoom around the world. This is a global presentation right from your home. Uh, you know, working remotely is increasing. Now corporations are going to be downsizing like their facilities because people want to work from home, right? And so we have the ability. We've been doing this for, you know, 36 years. Gig economy changing workforce. It was said, and we've been saying this for years, by 2025, 70% of the workforce would be doing so remotely. By 2025, 50% of the jobs that are out there would be gone. And we're like, how is that going to happen? Poof, February, gone, 50%. Like, I mean, this is the, everything that we have been told and, and talking about pro projecting the future is happening right now. And the world as we know it will never be the same. Never. It'll never be the same, right? So there's a massive demand and, and what gives us the ability, what is very special and unique about us and our company is the way that they do their distribution. It's not the traditional model where you manufacture and then you go out and you pay for advertising and marketing promotion about 43% and then and you got all your, your additional overhead, right? And then you go to the retailer who marks it up and then sells it. Retail is dying, right? If you didn't already know that, I mean, I feel so sad for all the mom and pop places out there because they're, they're toast. The big box places were killing them already. And then now with COVID, I mean, it, less and less are going to survive, right? Our company has said, we are going to empower the individual, us. And we're going to pay that 45% to, to us, the magicians that are out there that are creating business and empower us to be the advertising and the marketing and the promotions arm where there's an invested interest and that we can actually be paid leveraged on that and that 43% coming back to us. And so we have an invested interest to help other people and connect the company to the consumer, right? So pro what products do we, we do this with? Well, it, all science-based products. And that's what I love. I'm a total nerd. Even before I had glasses, I, I looked like a nerd, okay? A fit nerd, but a nerd. I love science. I love the fact that we have over 75 scientists on staff that we innovate. And in business, it's differentiate or die. If you don't be able to self separate yourself from, from your competitors, you're going to die in business, which again, back to the mom and pop and small business, they're struggling. 
I had to do that as an athlete. I had to differentiate myself and my brand different from everyone else, right? And be the best version of you, okay? That's what our company does. We innovate. We spend like going on $2 billion on research and development to create technologies, products, devices that, that are different than anyone else out there. And to create a difference, demonstrate an emotional response to change that people expect will not work for them. And then when we do, boom, we got to, because we have the ability to create that change and we do so in a, a wide range of products, which is really cool because there, to be honest, there's different entry points with everyone in the business and, and what not only their timing, but really what's in the, in the market, what's being released. And so when my, my the exciting piece of this, and this is kind of goes into timing again, is that um, I will tell you that, that the future is better than it is today. It's going to get better. I've watched it get better every single year because we continue to launch newer products that meet the market right where it is. Social selling didn't even exist when I, when I, when I got started. We, we barely had the internet. Social media started the next year after I joined the company. And so this was a new section, section of the business that, that honestly, I, I just blown my mind on the growth we've had for that. Beauty devices, we have the number one at home beauty device line on the planet. Nutrition, I came in because of nutrition. That biophotonic scanner was to me the holy grail of nutrition. I love that it could actually provide the demonstrable difference that somebody used our products could, could actually see through measurable tests, right? Because science is the ability to measure that I could see that it worked. And, uh, and also the ability to work, live right here in my home in Bend, Oregon, right? Which most of you guys are like, Bend, Oregon, where's that? It's like a small resort town, 100,000 people, and 15 minutes from the ski lift. I live on the river, 70 minutes to my place on the lake, and it's heaven to me. And I can live right here and build a global business right home, right from my home in Bend, Oregon. And, uh, and so that, that opportunity with the products is unique because this company has – decided that they were going to have a global seamless compensation plan of a business that one could hang their hat on and really trust that they were going to be there for the next generations of their family, which I know I love uh, Lisa and Paul's story and really being the second generations of family that are doing this business, right? And now they have kids, Right, and their kids. Guess what? Their kids are gonna are gonna either work the business or reap the benefits of the business. Right, and so they're incredible generations that have been able to reap the uh, or, or the benefits of what the the people before us have done. I I stress the importance of actually due diligence, yet doing so um, logically. Right. Uh, and I'm sure that most of you, you know, we all have the internet at, the, at the, the touch of our fingers, right? Immediately, bam, we can look up anything. And yet, I'm sure you understand that not everything on the internet is actually uh, truthful, right? Um, I recently, and, and Lisa said this, my wife is a professional athlete. She has a Wikipedia. I don't. She's famous. I'm not. I'm a total washed up has-been uh, that really never existed in most people's minds, except my own where I'm a legend. Um, and so but my, my wife, she, she still does, and she, and she did. And so her Wikipedia um, said that she has been married to Dwayne. Now, she, she is friends with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. She never dated him, never been married to him. The only Dwayne she knows. But for some reason, Wikipedia, who's, you know, the factual truth of everything, um, is incorrect. So just be be clear and know, use resources like the New York Stock Exchange to do your due diligence, where you can look at the transparency of our past, where we are now, and where we're going in the future, right? And so that, that is, is really credible information that you're going to find. Now, I'm not telling you to go buy the stock. It's a stock. It goes up, it goes down, right? Buy when it's low, sell when it's high. But that is a great resource to, to be able to look at who we are. And we have 36 years which here's, here's the, the truth, and this is going back to who you can trust. My, uh, when I did the, the research on this and be, became a, um, you know, I'd say, I don't want to say an expert, but very knowledgeable on the industry, there have been over 
thousand direct sales companies in the world. Okay, there is 0.008 percent of them that have actually exceeded in business more than a hundred million in lifetime sales and are still in business. 0.008 percent. 0.002 percent that have actually exceeded a billion dollars in sales and are still in business. So that means that 99.992% of businesses toast. They don't make it. So if you've ever heard, you know what? Oh yeah, this is one of those companies that people tell me about this all the time, my, my friends that have, they don't get it. Is I say, oh yeah, Charlie, Charlie got involved in the beginning. That's why it's successful. Yeah, you're right. I got involved in year 20. Uh, the company has just broke a billion dollars right in the beginning. You know, no, success doesn't happen in the beginning, you guys. Success happens the best windows from one to five billion and then five to 10 billion. And it's just math. When you look at the numbers, when you hear that 0.002% really are successful and 99.998% are not, the reason they say you got to be involved in the beginning is because there is nothing but the beginning. And if you lean your ladder against a company that's not here in the future, guess what? There's no leverage. And you just toasted, destroyed your credibility because you vouched and, and recommended a company to people that isn't around in the future. And so that, that's something that's really, really, really important uh, that you can trust who it is. And, and Forbes magazine, uh, one of the, the companies that constantly puts us in the very top, most trustworthy companies in the world. So uh, over 50 markets of business that we have people from all over, awards all over, we just, I mean, we, the, the media uh, editorial loves us, all the glamour magazines and, and you know, magazines that they, they love our products, they use our products, they talk about our products, and we all win all kinds of awards because of the innovation and the change that they create. So we, uh, let's talk about the money, okay? And again, I, 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 uh, I, I really do like money. I love people. And I like money because I, I need money for boat. I need money for boat gas. I need money for car gas. Do you guys realize how expensive five children are? Can you imagine when you have them all, well, four of them at one time? Diapers for four children at one time? Baby formula for four children at one time? Um, this compensation is not the same as a job. Okay, or a salary, or commissions um, in, in traditional sales. Those are all linear, meaning you stop, you don't get them. So what this means to me in that far right that I've been at for, I've been at that far right position for now 15 years. And what it means to me and giving you like a, a, the, the value, okay, why? Why would you continue to, to listen to, you know, this washed up pro athlete uh, that, you know, I didn't even finish college. Right? I left early uh, to go become a professional athlete. And so, you know, why would you listen to me? Well, when my wife and I got married, uh, my sixth year of the business, so I'd been at the, the top position for five, we got off our honeymoon and my wife asked me, would you stop working? And I said, what, what do you mean? She goes, well, I'm, I'm lonely. And I was, I was so confused because we had just gotten back from a three week vacation in South Africa for our honeymoon. And I was like, we just came back from South Africa, our honeymoon. She said, yeah, you worked the whole time. And I was a workaholic and this is not the first person I, I've heard this from everyone in my life. And after I calmed down, right, because you know, my biggest challenge is myself and my wife you know, explain that she's like, I understand how people have affairs and my needs are not being met. And so I would like it if you like, it didn't work as much. We went and met with my, my sponsor, my mentor in the business. And he asked, why are you doing this? I said, I'm doing it for my family. He goes, this is your family. Why are you, you not addressing her needs? And so he says, it's time to retire. And we extended that honeymoon for two years. Why? Well, because I really like this wife. And if I didn't work on it with this wife and make those changes, right? The fear of staying the same, meaning my wife would not be with me in the future if I didn't change, uh, was greater than that change of the unknown. And so we extended that honeymoon two years. 
And, uh, and, and the rule was she went somewhere, I went somewhere with her. She didn't go anywhere, I didn't go anywhere. And I had to get a separate phone and turn off my phone so that I didn't work. And, it, and during that time, and it's the value of the business, my business continued to pay based on, on sales every single month, check came in, and I got a 30% raise while I was on a honeymoon for two years. Now, what would happen if you stopped working? What would happen? Right, and that is just, it's priceless that I was able to invest in the foundation now and made that, I'm not telling you to do a two year honeymoon because that may or may not lead to five children, yet it, uh, unless you want five children, but it, that's, that's the value, that's what can happen. I re-engage in the business because I love this business, I love what all, all of us do, and helping other people create success and own their lives and be able to say yes and to, to have a yes life. Right. For that thing, when it happens, like your wife asking you to uh, spend more time with her, um, that you can say yes. Now, a few years later, we find out from the doctor that we're going to go from one child to five children in six months. That was a shocker. Not expected. We didn't do IVF. And, uh, and my wife is on bed rest for five of those months. Life or death for her and the kids. Very scary. I was a solo dad when my wife was in the hospital. And I focused on my family. And uh, I mean, I believe that it's very, I mean, it just, the, the divinity of everything that happened to the growth of my business being directly correlated to the number of kids that added into my family while I was focused on my family because of leverage. Because what we do is we invest in people. And when you invest in people, especially with our compensation plan, no one's doing it for you. Right, if you're on here and you're a guest of Lisa Paul or June's, right, you're not going to do it for them. They're not doing it for Ronnie. You know, none of my team is doing it for me. They're doing it for themselves and working with their team and, and their goals. So when I unplugged and I retired, no one cared. I didn't have any employees. I didn't have to, any overhead. I didn't have a brick and mortar. The business in the clouds. And so when those moments happen in your life, um, you know, are you able to say yes? And I'm, I'm telling you that you've got to be prepared for that thing. Now, what's unique about us right now, okay, there's all kinds of free trips. They just keep throwing stuff at you to Lisa and Paul, and I've actually gotten to know each other, not only in events we go to, but to, uh, these trips that we travel the world to and with and our families. And we are, it's, it's a big family. And honestly, I'm in here because Lisa and Paul would consider family. They asked me like, hey, will you, will you, Jump on a call and, and share your story and what's going on right now. And so, timing, you know, it's uh, the, the, that thing has happened to everybody, unless you have a leveraged asset that's not brick and mortar, right? Uh, because of quarantine. Now, I personally, I'm not a doomsdayist and I'm not a, uh, well, I'm I'm a ha I'm a glasses half full kind of guy, and and I I definitely 100% believe that there will be more wealth created in the next five years because of this than would have ever been possible in our lifetime without it, for the people that are willing to change, and we uh, were blessed, and it's 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 a lot of quantum physics if you study that that the pendulum always swings equally. And there are equal benefits to any drawback. And right now we are seeing extraordinary uh, all-time growth for the people that are in action because there are more people looking. And, and I, I hope that this finds you in the time that you are. And to know that if, if you go to work with us and you, you do the things that, uh, that, you know, that, that Ronnie and, and the team here has put in place for your system, um, you have the ability, an equal equal starting point for all of us to go out and create a leveraged asset that you can pass on to future generations of your family. And I personally, I, if you truly understood everything that we have um, created here and the benefits of it, and I said, you just have to walk through that wall to get it, you would walk through that wall. It's a bit like humidity and trying to describe humidity if you've never been in a humid place it's impossible until you actually feel it. And that's what a leveraged income is like.
So I hope that it's your time now and that you take advantage of it and you, you, you move to action with whomever it is that invited you on here because I'm not telling you that it's gonna, you know, it's gonna, this is the best time and it's never gonna be that, better than this because I don't believe that to be true. But when we talk about timing, what it means is that if you don't take advantage of this now, Tomorrow, you remember half of what was, what was said here. Next day, a quarter. Next day, an eighth. And the next day, you will not even remember being on here or the company's name or any of us, except the person that invited and you hope it's a friend of yours. The benefit of you taking action now is the people that you know that are going to get involved, that they can get involved with you. And if you don't get involved right now, those people that you would want to later, if you started a month, two months, two years down the road, um, which will still be cranking and doing well. But some of those people you know, well, they'll be working with other people instead of you. And they won't be part of your asset in business. And so, you know, timing is, is the, the point, the definition of timing that I love is at the point, the point at which things happen. And so if this meets you at that time when, when you're, you're more scared of, of, of staying the same than the unknown of what's in front of you, then you can do great things with us and, and just follow the example and, and the systems you guys have in place. So uh, Lisa and Paul, I'll turn it back over to you. And, and just, I, I so love seeing you guys. I love spending the time with you. I love seeing your kids. And uh, the events that, that uh, Lisa spoke of that we put together are open for everyone. Um, we respect all of the, the systems that people have in place. And we just, we take the responsibility to creating events around the world in 50 countries that people can plug into and get an experience that's consistent and is professional, uh, that you can feel uh, good about growing a global business from right where you live and be able to utilize those resources and systems that are in place that, that we can all benefit from. So um, thank you very much, Lisa and Paul. If there's anything else, uh, please let me know. Awesome, thank you so much, Charlie.